What's up, y'all? Uh, this is your boy T the Hillbilly, and I'm making this video asking a serious question to country country singers. And no, I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to edit this video. But my main question is: Since when country singers bow down? Hear me out when I say this. Since when country singers bow down to the media? Now, y'all know, already know 95% of country singers rock the Confederate flag. They do. But what I don't like is when the media turns around and tells them, why are you rocking the Confederate flag? And the first people they bring up is black people. As a black man speaking, we already knew country singers rocked the Confederate flag. They rock it for Southern pride. They rock it because of rebellions. Rebellious people. They rock it because of where they're from. The South. Though some country singers ain't from the South. But, predominantly, most of them are. Now, here's an example. Imagine if Johnny Cash was alive with us. And the media turn around. You can name the legends. Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Kenny Rogers. Name them all. Hank Williams Sr. Name them all. How do you think they will feel? If they say, oh, why are you rocking a Confederate flag? And why are you not going to take it down? I bet you they'll tell the media to kiss their ass right away. Just like Ryan Upchurch. The man literally sat there and told told media. Now, think about it. Upchurch have it tatted on him. He's got the Confederate flag tatted on him. And he's been talking about unity since the beginning of his career. Me, I was a big fan of him since his Vine days. Literally, I followed this dude for a very long time. And I remember when he made his song Bloodshed, a lot a lot of black people were talking about some, oh, he's just doing this to get popularity. Oh, he don't really like black people. Uh no, this and that, blah blah blah. But then years to come. Where do you see anyone saying he's racist? And where's the proof? Just recently. I would say everyone Upchurch collab with, I mean, duh, Luke Holmes is one of the biggest ones. Luke Holmes bow down. That was the last person I suspect to bow down to the media, to be honest with you. But, Luke Holmes, you bow down to the wrong people. And you sat there acting like people actually give a fuck about it. In reality, no one did. You sat right there saying, oh, oh, I feel bad for this image. But guess what? Black people really don't care. We see you with a Confederate flag. We're not going to assume you're a Ku Klux Klan, even though they use the flag. I use the flag myself. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something. Y'all see this? Y'all see this shirt right here? This is the very first shirt I purchased from Redneck Nation. And I'll show you to you how old it is. Look. It's already chipped up. I had this shirt since 2000. Since 2000. 2016. But my problem is, I don't get it why country singers are bowing down to the media. I thought country singers were the, were right along with hip hop. They're supposed to be the big dogs. Just like I said in my last video, country singers, heavy metal and hip hop, we're rebellious. We are. We're supposed to be super rebellious. We don't give a fuck about the media. But independent artists, 
warned y'all. Why don't you sign that paper? Your image is gone. Every song you own is down is now to them. You're basically just bowing down to technically a cult. It's a damn shame I have to make this video to tell country singers don't bow down. I shouldn't have to make a video. Y'all who are natural country singers shouldn't bow down. I'm speaking on country rappers too, even though I never seen a country rapper bow down to a label. Thank God. But dominantly country singers, y'all were supposed to show an image to say, fuck the media. I'ma do me. Just like how they canceled Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen can go independent. Yeah, he said he said a word. Man, let me tell you something. If black folks can sit here and say the C word, they should be canceled too, right? But no. They're never gonna cancel them. Because the word's been said in their rap songs for too long. But a country singer can just say one racial slur. Shut them out. If a black person says a racial slur and they're famous, they're not going to get canceled. They'll just say, oh, it's ang they were just angry at the moment. No, I'm not accepting that. But what I will not accept is what the hell is going on with country singers. Y'all are not supposed to be bowing down to nobody. Why? Because the media tell y'all all the time, black people are crying. They want you to take down the Confederate flag. They're crying. No, the hell we're not. We are not crying. Come on, y'all. You rock the Confederate flag, rock that shit. Even if that's your concert, rock that shit. You really going, the media always throw like black people are the ones who's complaining about it. No, we're not. They're just using us as an excuse to try to cancel someone. I will say this. Big shout out. Tom McDonald. Ryan Upchurch. Denzel Curry. You don't know why I named those three? Because those three were the only ones who warned y'all. And some of y'all don't listen. You think they did not warn y'all about the media? Listen to most of Upchurch songs, Tom McDonald songs, and definitely listen to Denzel Curry, Claude Cobain. That will give you the answer. That's it for today. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. Big shout out to Red Dang Nation. Bobby been there, Redneck Nation been there for me, and forever love this man. This is my very first shirt. It's not going anywhere, and it will stay with me. That's it for today. As always, like, subscribe, comment, people. This is your boy T the, T the Hillbilly. Y'all have a blessed day. Deuces. And country singers, hear me out. To any musician who is independent. Don't sign. Be independent. That's where it's supposed to be. Good day.